Hi, it's Alana. Welcome back to Yogi Yin and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to take you through a sequence for fertility. This is a sequence that I have put together for a student of mine who has experienced repeated miscarriage, which has been pretty devastating for her. To cut a long story short, basically what's happening for her is poor egg quality. She has no trouble getting pregnant, but the quality of the eggs is what's determining those miscarriages. So if that is your situation, this is going to be a really appropriate sequence for you. It's going to focus on boosting egg quality and it's also going to focus on warming the body and warming the ovaries, which at the moment are quite cold, cold uterus and cold ovaries. So I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if you do. And if you'd like a personalized sequence of your own, I have one left. I'm now booked up uh, till April and I'm going to cap it at April until we get a little bit further along. So don't get too ahead of myself. Namaste. Okay, so for this practice, you'll need a mat, and I've covered my mat with a blanket because my student is particularly internally cold. It's systemic internal cold, so I want her lying on something nice and cozy and warm. And you'll also need a strap, or a scarf will do fine, and a couple of pillows as well, preferably on the flat side. And we're gonna start coming into Supta Bada Kanasana. So we're going to lie on the mat and bring the soles of our feet together. Now for some people this is an easy pose and for some people it's not quite so much. So if you find it a little difficult, I want you to take your couple of pillows and just place them under your knees like so. Okay. And when you're ready, lie back on your mat, just stretching through the body and we're going to bring the hands into a hand mudra. So what I want you to do is just take your right thumb, wrap your forefingers around it and have the left thumb coming down the outside of that hand and then wrap the other fingers around the left hand like so. Place your hands just underneath your belly button. And this is a hand mudra or hand gesture to bring light and heat down to the ovaries. So when you're comfortable too, I want you to close your eyes. Breathe down into the belly so you can feel the hands on the belly rise as you inhale. As you release, belly draws back to the spine. And then when you're ready, with each inhalation, I want you to envision that you are breathing in light and warmth all the way down to the ovaries. Breathing in light and warmth all the way down to the ovaries.
And as you exhale, release any stale energy from the body, you let it go. Breathing out, releasing stale and old energy from the body. Let it go. Breathing in light and warmth and new energy. Breathing out, releasing stale, old energy, old ways of being. Three more deep breaths here. Breathe out through the mouth. Let it all go. Release your hands. And release everything on a deep sigh. And again, inhaling. Let it all go. Beautiful. And I want you to just remove your blanket from your mat now. And we're going to come into Setu Bandhasana, Bridge Pose. Excellent for air quality, as you probably know. So feet are hip distance apart, toes are slightly turned towards one another. And walk the feet into the buttocks as close as is comfortable for you. Arms nice and long beside the body to start up with. To start off with. And when you're ready, what we're going to do is just gently tilt the pelvis towards the ceiling on an inhalation. And then exhale. Release it back down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Keep going, inhaling. And exhaling to release. And this time we're going to take your arms up and over the head at the same time as you inhale. So come with me, inhaling. And exhale and bring the arms back down beside the body. Release. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. Couple more rounds. Let 
And this is warming up the body as well, coming into a gentle back bend. And now we're going to hold this back bend, and you can either choose to remain here, or if you wish to, bring your arms back down, come up onto your shoulders, interlace the fingers, and push the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Or you can bend your elbows and support your lower back here, and even come up onto the tips of your toes. Six deep breaths here. Good, and then release your arms and your shoulders. Roll all the way back down. Hug your knees into your belly and gently rock from side to side. Just releasing off tension in the lumbar spine. Come back to centre, roll off to your right hand side and we're going to come to kneeling on our mat. So coming to kneeling on our mat, we're going to first of all just stretch into the liver meridian. So what I want you to do is just raise your right arm, slide your left arm over and just stretch into the side of your body, turning your head to look at the ceiling if that's comfortable for your neck and taking five deep breaths here. Feel that stretch from the hip to the fingertips. Beautiful. And then inhale, come up. Raising the left arm, sliding the right arm out, and again, looking up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, come all the way up, take those arms behind you, stretch them and really open up your chest. We're going to come into a slight upper back bend here. So drop your head back if it's comfortable for your neck and just open out the arms from the body. Beautiful, and then inhale, come back to centre. Slide your arms forwards, come into extended pose of a child. Just release here. Breathe down into the belly, belly nice and soft. And then inhale, look between your hands, come to a cat pose. Take the knees underneath the hips and the hands underneath the shoulders and the inner elbows towards each other. Good, and then inhale and open up the throat. And exhale and curl through the spine. So the body, inhaling to open, should be feeling A little bit warmer. Doing a couple more rounds of Marjariasana cat pose, also known as cat cow. 
which also warms the body. And inhale, come back. Take your knees a little wider. Out to the side of your mat and we'll practice sexy cat. First of all, circling the buttocks in one direction, warming up the uterus, and of course, increasing blood flow down to the ovaries. Now you might find this a little bit difficult if you're very tight in your lumbar spine and hips. If you wish to, you can move it from side to side it's not as effective as a circling, but at least you're still warming that area. This is very good if you suffer from lumbar spine issues, and I would practice it every day if you do. Beautiful. Now you can be as slow and mindful with this as you like. For our purposes, we're going a little bit first. For our purposes, we're going a little bit faster so as to fit everything in. Okay, reverse those circles. Try as much as you can to keep the rest of your body quite still and isolate that area. You should be feeling it getting nice and warm now. Beautiful. Come back to a neutral pose. Bring your knees underneath your hips once more. Step your hands forward. Turning your palms out towards the side of your mat. Inner elbows together. Nice and strong arms. Coming up onto the toes for downward dog. Arms alongside the ears, dropping the knees so that the shins are parallel with the mat, lifting the hips high in the air, dropping the feet and walking through the feet. So we're starting to stretch out the backs of the legs, keeping the body nice and warm. Inhaling and exhaling, now sink your heels down and I want you to hold downward dog for five deep breaths. Downward dog, rebalancing the whole of the endocrine system. Beautiful. Drop back down into cat. Uncurl your toes. Take your knees out to the side of your mat. Buttocks back to the heels. Back into pose of a child. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Belly nice and soft. Walk your hands back into your knees. And when you're ready, take the legs out in front of you. We're gonna come into Navasana Boat Pose, which is a pose that we don't often use during fertility because it can tighten our core. But it is actually very, very good for egg quality. So we're gonna work with it in a way that takes the emphasis and the strength off the core of the body. So I want you to take your hands back Pointing in towards the body, so it's almost like a back bend, and then just lift your knees, and if you're comfortable here, stay here. 
But if you wish to, we're not going to release our arms forward because that's going to put the emphasis back on our core. But if you can, if it's available to you, you can straighten your legs here up towards the ceiling and hold it here, let your belly be nice and free. And as you can see, all that blood is coming back from the legs to the uterus. Let the belly be soft. One more breath. Beautiful. And then just release it. Come out as gracefully as you went in. Take the flesh for your buttocks back. Use a little pillow or a blanket underneath your buttocks just to give your spine that extra height and a slight tilt forward. We're going to come into Paschimottanasana, another fantastic pose for fertility. So if you need to bend up your knees because of your lumbar spine, we're going to inhale, raise the arms and fold forward like so. And that's absolutely fine. If you want to come into the full pose, I want you to inhale and exhale, fold forward and take hold wherever you're comfortable. From that position, inhale, come up and out of the hips and then sink the head towards the knees. Six deep breaths. And then inhale, take the hands forward, up and over the head. Take the pillow from underneath the buttocks, hands back behind you. And inhale and exhale, just release here. Breathing into the heart, dropping the head back, if that's comfortable. If it's not, look straight ahead. Good. And then inhale, come gently back to centre. Come all the way back up to Dandasana. And now we're going to lie back on the mat. Bring the knees into the belly. Hands over the knees, small circles on the lower spine. Easing out the lumbar spine. So the body should be starting to feel nice and warm. We've done a lot of gently warming poses for the body, in particular the pelvis and the uterus. Good, and then reverse that circle. Hug the knees into the belly. Now gently just releasing the knees, we're going to take the legs all the way down to the mat, but if you do suffer with uh, pain in your lumbar spine, then I want you to keep your left knee bent, and we're going to come into 
Supta Hasta Pudang Gustafana, which is all about opening up the liver meridian and the gallbladder meridian and really helpful for fertility. Okay, so both legs extended if that's okay for your body. Bending up your right knee, strap or scarf around the sole of your foot, leg up towards the ceiling, couple of deep breaths here. Keep the extended leg strong, foot flexed. And then with the strap in your right hand, I want you to open out that leg and keep your hand over your left hip, anchoring it to the mat. Good, bring it back to center. Take the strap in your left hand. Take that leg over the body, but don't roll all the way over. Excellent, bring it back to center. Bring the leg in towards you a little further this time. Deep breath here. And then release it. And just see if that right leg now feels different to the left. And enjoy that if you can feel it. Hmm. Good. And then bend up your right knee if you did your left. And bend up your left leg. And just gently bring that in towards your body. Inhale here and exhale. Take the left leg out to the side. One more breath. And then inhale, take the strap in your right hand, bring the leg over the body. And then bring it back to center. Draw that leg in towards the body. One deep breath. And then release it. Go all the way down on the mat. Lying in full Shavasana, palms facing upward for a couple of deep breaths. And when you're ready, we're going to come into Viparita Karani, legs up the wall. Okay, so to come into Viparita Karani, we're going to come into the wall from a side angle. Take the legs out in front of us, 
buttocks into the wall. Little pillow underneath your head so you're as comfortable as possible. Body should be nice and warm. And I want you to bring the tips of your thumbs, your forefingers together. Place them just below the belly button. Female mudra. We're going to take a few deep breaths here. Coming into a state of deep rest. And gently float your eyes open if you close them. Slowly but reluctantly bend your knee. Roll off to one side. Make your way back to a comfortable seated position. Harion, we're going to finish today with a breathing practice from Mari or humming bee breath which is all about really bringing the body into the parasympathetic nervous system. Done a lot of work with gently warming the body, a lot of work on increasing air quality, and now we just want to really just calm the mind. We should be in a really nice state to do that. So when you're ready, what I want you to do is just watch me. I'm going to place my index fingers just gently inside my ears. And I'm going to inhale through my nose and exhale and hum. I'm going to practice five rounds. So come with me. When you finish your fifth round, just bring your left palm on top of your right tips of your thumbs together. Inhaling.
Beautiful, when you're ready, float your eyes open. Gently bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Bring them to the forehead for clarity of thought and an open mind. And to the lips for clarity of speech and kind speech. And to the heart for courage and for an open heart. Om Shanti.